I worked with that in risk use for eight years at Del Valle in Phoenix, and I had a little bit of experience with um, mental illness, and you certainly saw with the people we served. Um, people were hungry. They were worried about survival. They, uh, the thought of goals is kind of foreign to them. Um, you walk in there, and first of all, it's... It, I don't know how to, to, to really verbalize this, except speak from the heart and just let it go. Um, like, well, it's, it's emotional. Man, it's damn emotional. You're sitting there going, I forgot. I forgot about these people. Even though, you know, I, I, I give a lip service. Oh, yeah, I do this. But, you know, when you're there and you're working with them, that's a whole bunch different than giving them lip service. And I was kind of sad that we had a minimum num number of people there. Because I wish you all could have had that moment to realize, man, what you have and what they don't have, yet some of them are just super happy. <laughs> now, some of them were, mm, mm, it might give you a moment's pause, how you might, how you're going to deal with them or interact with them. But other ones were just super nice people. And they appreciated what they what they were given. And then some of the other folks, I said, well, where are the families? You said, you see these people taking the big bags? They're taking it home to their family. I'm going, wow, because all I saw was adults. I said, wait a minute. And the lady says, well, well, because they, I, don't, I didn't ask why, I mean, there's probably a whole bunch of reasons why they didn't bring them, but whatever. Maybe they just, I don't know. And where did they go? Because I took it from, okay, they're eating here, and she's talking about where they can go and the fact that the Livermore area is the greatest giving um, community in the whole Bay Area. said, so we have people from Hayward coming over here, and we asked them, why are you come? They said, you treat us like human beings, like it's okay. Over there, we're not treated well. She said, well, how do they get here? They jump on, they jump on BART and a bus, and they come on over. I went, wow, that's pretty cool that they would... And then they talk about Ashbury Church, and they talk about all the different locations that people can go. I said, we have at least three churches that give out food to these folks. I'm going, wow. And what, what I saw, I asked, how many meals do you serve? Probably about 200. And I said, well, how many are we not getting to? And I, it, I don't want to tie up your time or serve, but it was, it was, um, it was a wow. Just... Please, when, when we have these opportunities to do these things, folks, please, even though you might be working, no, I'm retired and I can go there, but you'll make time to go experience it and see what it's all about because that will give you a much better perception of reality and what you, what you have and what you can give and what you can do as an organization. So.